Machiavelli and his beer there. <laughs> if you're making, looking to make a difference during your next pauhana, your next drink could help a species native to Hawaii. This has snails on it, so are we drinking snail beer? No. No, no, no. no. Okay. no, no, no. Just to be clear. <laughs> Introduce our guest, please. Yes, it's called a Kahuli Bruli, and yep. we're joined by Jeffrey Siderman of Honolulu Beer Works and Cisco, David Cisco from the State Division of Forestry and Wildlife. Good to see you guys. Good to see you, thank Good you. So why make a beer for snails? Well, we well, were not for them. Right? Not for them, but we were contacted <laughs> by a member of David's team to see if we could do some sort of collaboration. And the more we learned about the snails, we said, hey, I think we could, we could come together and make a beer that helps benefit the snails and the research that they're doing as well. So, oh, okay. And that's kind of how this beer came about. Why are these snails, or why are snails important? Snails are important. So Hawaii, the Hawaiian Islands had over 750 species found nowhere else on Earth. You brought a little only visual here, there. Only here in Hawaii, about half of those are extinct already. Many of the shells in here, this is a historical collection I brought to show you some of the diversity. Mm -hmm. And we have about a, a hundred species that will be extinct within the next five to 10 years without significant conservation intervention. Well, so it's so important to find creative ways to raise awareness, yep. hence yeah. the beer tie-up. Yes. <laughs> okay, so tell me how this works then. So portion of proceeds will go from the beer sales, retail, and draft to directly to the program to help them fund what they're doing with the snails. Uh, the snail beer itself is a Saison style that we wanted to have ingredients that were in the snail's environment. So we have white hibiscus, which has a floral note to it, lehua honey, which has a sweetness and dryness, and also pink peppercorn, even though it's evasive, it's still in their natural environment. Uh, to create this saison. Wow, so. a lot of thought went into this for yeah. sure. And you're going to be educating people at some events, I hear? Or how is this yeah. going yeah, to today. Yeah. Uh, today they'll be at the pub. Um, we have the DNLR and David's team to educate people who want to find out about it. We have some fun games and, of course, the beer. So. Not a race, I'm thinking, like no. slowest. No, oh, it'll be a, a slow day. <laughs> <Yeah. hurt. laughs> so where are you located and where is this going to be at? Uh, 328 Cook Street. So at what time? 12 o'clock. 12 to Starts 5. Starts at noon. Yep. Uh, we do have a limited amount of beers that we did. We bit, did about 50 cases. So once it's gone, it's gone. So uh -huh. okay. So if you're in, if you're in Kaka'ako, Kaka if, you, if you're not in Kaka'ako, head down to Kaka'ako. <laughs> and this is what the back of your shirt looks like, right? Yes. I love it. Yeah. Well, and I guess uh, just one final note. What do you want people to know about saving these snails? Um, I, I just want people to know that you know these aren't your typical garden snails. These are these are snails that only exist here. They're high up on mountains, and they're a really important component of our ecosystem. And they deserve to exist and persist into the future. All right. Well. And dude, you want them to come support? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Save snails. Drink a beer. There you go. <laughs> we'll be back with more. You're watching Sunrise.